Someone said to me, if you want us to vote for you in 2024, you must abandon uh, this thing of uh, foreigners. Uh, now I'm prepared to go home. Now I'm fine. I'm ne I will never take a platform and denounce Africans. I will never do it. If it means votes are going, let them go. Now I'm prepared to go home. But to take a platform and please white minority by pointing a finger at my other fellow black brothers. I'm not going to do that. When I see a Nigerian or a Zimbabwean or a Congolese or Ghanaian, I see myself. EFF can commission uh, internal research to see to what extent is this thing hurting the EFF. But I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to take a platform and say foreigners must go home. I would rather not be a president of South Africa. I'll be a president of my children at home. We'll practice cabinet there. <laughs> ah, no, I don't want. I must go and, and, and tell these hungry Zimbabweans to leave here. And when I, leave, and I tell them to leave, I send them to where? All the thoughts with Prince on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook, are Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook group, are Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter, it's a P Miller ENT. Welcome to another edition of our Order Thoughts with Prince on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. And uh, today is the 16th of November. Uh, 2021 you just listened to uh eff leader uh julius malema and uh, today the man held a press conference and uh, he was talking about one of the most trending topics at the moment hashtag uh put south africa first and uh, and he's saying you know what in india anana basana says so that's the teaching where no quantity when i see a zimbabwean when i see a Ghanaian, when i see a nigerian I see myself and he is the man who is advocating for movement of people and he in Africa. He's saying no at Nyama Boda in Dewa Rungi. Dewa Rungi and so I did go on uh, social media, especially on Hopel's uh, Facebook page, because Hopel has been talking a lot about Nyaya South African immigration. Nyaya Yaga Tangira Panya Kuti my exception permits I request by at the end of December. I think we are talking about it here. We are covering it up here. And the time before early this year, GT, uh, the South African government needs to announce and put my permit on renewal. can't renew But uh, the matter is in Parliament at the moment, so we wait to hear from them. But what's the next move regarding to Nyayama payments? But there's a group of people who are on social media, especially the youth in South Africa, they are advocating for those payments not to be renewed. They are saying that uh, we are fighting for uh, small small jobs. You know, whereby most of us we are not even employed. Why should the government of South Africa? you know uh, renew those permits because they are not putting us first as the locals and uh, they are raising actually uh valid points they are raising valid points regarding to nyaya yeah immigration in south africa they are saying good uh foreigners needs to uh, leave especially the legal foreigners was number documents by and uh we as zimbabweans just to another tower and do because three one one day and we are again uh fighting with the locals so I did go on uh, Opel's uh, Facebook page. I did read uh, some of the comments people have been commenting regarding to this video. The man says uh, the South African issue is not a single story in South Africa. EFF leader Julius Malema said that he is prepared to lose votes than uh, support uh, locals for Zimbabweans to leave SA when addressing a press conference today. His position is partly shared by the ruling party. ANC hashtag SA immigration. Saka woman and immigration guys nya kuti we can ignore and we need to talk about it because in ya to trend here in South Africa. And so don't be fooled about answers on here. We need 
to pay a closer attention to Nyai. Nyai got to kosha and it So, uh, people on social media have been uh, responding it positively, especially Zimbabweans. And it someone here wrote that uh, most great leaders stood uh, for something. Malema, if by any means it comes to pass, you be a great candidate to lead a United States of Africa, just taking it from his stance on pan Africanism and unwavering stance on ideology so people are talking about nyaya ye uh, pan africanism here and uh, so uh someone uh, wrote that uh, yes we must not hate on one another however we zimbos needs to fix our country migration is part of human nature but we should not have large volumes of people migrating because their country is not providing the resources for them to prosper zimbos let's register to vote we can do it if we stand as one and vote for a better Zimbabwe. We used to be a proud nation. We can't allow this to continue to happen. We owe it to our future generations. I do agree 100%. I mean, for how long can we continue running away from our problems? I mean, we've lost so many brothers and sisters here in South Africa due to Nyaya, Mapanga, you know, we've lost so many people. We've lost so many people, and Wakanzwa man, Marugeni swa Zimbabwe at the moment. Each and every week, ne ma funeral services. Ah, arumuno ma, uno shami sika bi gote. Oma na, saka mushine wa ne re South Africa, because people are dying. Amu ndovar kuto vi guamuno nokuti ah wasukani swa kwenzi swa kumusha because of the expenses. Ane gachidiwa egunzi muna ende ku Zimbabwe. So we need ah to register to vote and urge each other kuti tuno re nyore swa kuvota. Tuko anza kuvota so that we can go back to Zimbabwe so that we can improve the life in Zimbabwe because remember eh, Zimbabwe ambo fega naka kana isusu tiri muni zingwe nika jishi wanda this is what uh, this uh, person is saying anika so someone uh, wrote that uh, the, the ideology of uh, having free movement across Africa without being calling each other's names is uh, very good but it requires both nations to have working economies so that uh, we don't burden one country with migrant crisis. In Zimbabwe, we got a man-made crisis which doesn't require out-of-space science to fix, but only for the ED regime to respect the rule of law. But it also requires the South African government to play its part diplomatically as liberation parties to adhere to the rule of law, especially in Zimbabwe. And because South Africa, they play a major role when it comes to the politics in Zimbabwe. And uh, since uh, Mugabe time, eh, so if they ignore us there in Zimbabwe, then it becomes a problem because they will end up you know, having so many people coming from uh, Zimbabwe, Wachia Kuzogara, South Africa, like what is happening right now. And so but again, uh, every country, in economy in Ngeri function so that people can move freely but personal Kumanyera South Africa boys whatever is in here in South Africa can be found also in Zimbabwe and in Asaka, there will be no need for people to come to South Africa at all when I don't think what I want to worry Kogo and I got a visit to a visit and again migration area gara iripo kubira kudara and it so we shouldn't be forced to move because of political or economic situations. And again, so uh, someone wrote that uh, the man deserves to be president of SA. I hope my brothers and sisters can vote for him. Don't be scared of change. It is inevitable. And again, most Zimbabweans are happy with what Malema has said on that audio. And again, and uh, a South African here, he came, he actually said, I don't see myself voting for EFF ever again. Malema is part of the problem. SA is uh, the most unemployment rate in the world and he expects us to accommodate all Africans and compete for limited resources. Won't that create tension between Africans and South Africans? South Africa is a country that doesn't have power to form one Africa. Such notion must be presented to the AU and all countries to vote on it and yeah he said you know what i'm about some normal muna so to turn over here i'm about say my show man and i report you and again yeah i could see what i would we in your city right because we as south africans the government should be putting us first not to fight to open borders so he's saying that he won't be voting for uh, julius malema and he so someone here wrote that uh this crisis is a bit tricky to be honest Malema's arguments is right, I support it, but we can say those who are campaigning for put South Africans first, uh, are they wrong? 
when we say South Africans is not about the white minority but the black majority who can't find employment uh, because of foreigners all I know is that no matter what decision Chatura, one side will suffer from it either foreigners or black South Africans and yeah that's true definitely true that's definitely true we cannot just dismiss uh, those uh, people who are saying uh, put South African first the locals have a right to say that I said uh, yesterday that you know if the situation was vice versa we in Zimbabwe we would have been saying you know what we don't want uh, these guys from South Africa these guys from Mozambique from Zambia and uh, they are raising uh, points which are actually uh, valid at the same time whatever the SA government is going to make a decision regarding this whole issue it's going to affect maybe my foreigners or it will affect maybe my South Africans so we went to see what he say and it was time will tell and so someone here wrote that uh, where do I send these hungry Zimbabweans this is too deep we need to act fellow Zimbabweans let's save ourselves from the marauding zanu hyenas before what we call our country is gone and uh, this is what someone else wrote here so someone here wrote, wrote that viva eff viva viva forward with the president malema and uh, most zimbabweans are happy of what malema is saying they are actually saying you know what the main are in so cut it in the comment section this is the uh, order thoughts with prince on prince Men entertainment tv if you agree with what uh, julius malema is saying and if you agree with what uh, he is saying why are you agreeing with him and again i uh, will talk ab about uh, those uh, south africans who are saying that all foreigners should leave south africa and uh, especially those ones who doesn't have papers my illegal immigrants and but other people are saying you know what they need to stay because we are all one we are all africans at the end of the day and it is so in angu someone in angu on my own uh, personal uh, capacity i just feel that we as zimbabweans we need uh, to go and register to vote and uh, this is very important and uh, for the future generation because if we don't do that so i know some people out there they'll be saying you know what i want to go back to zimbabwe but in charge with us in Osha was what he Jinga Janaka and then Gambo's guards That's the first thing. And again, we need to look at uh, what happened in Zambia there. And the one is a Buddha and a song of diaspora, Mora Zoka, Magano Vota, and they made uh, Zambia great again. Zambia is on the verge of becoming one of the best economies in uh, southern Africa. Man, the man, the tender teas are footed up in Zambia. Go, was a motor and mega to tea. Chango and Matungo Ravan, and then got Chungo tender and you got the one way. Chungo Shunguru, Chunguruzwa, Chungo Zuama, Zitans, Murima Zimba, Murima Quere, Quere, Murmachi, and all we've been called names so many times. Chungo to unto the tetra hash as to Tunusha, so to our mana munu, don't pin do it, let us see. But again, Hansi Mwanawashi, Muranda Kung. And so we need to go and register to vote at the same time we need to vote the proper change yes a purple otherwise chango ramba chungu tawara nyaizi chungu shungu root papa twitter marodum and the mass street chungu mani squad xenophobia chumbo where and you know we've lost so many uh, of our brothers and sisters in south africa due to nyaizi xenophobia and with this rate ni mafambi rakuta nyaizi mass street zoom i will tell you that uh, another xenophobia nige chua manje manje and you're gonna lose one or two or four or ten people due to violence in the you know in many parts of south africa you know it's their country at the end of the day in gayao in susutiri my visitors so we need to make sure that uh we sort our things back home so that we can return on a certain side as well and there's no place like home that's for sure and yeah so this is the order thoughts with prince on prince manager team tv this is a discussion that we're going to be talking about here mazwa notera mwa weeks anotera mwa mwezi notera Makora Notera here on this channel on our Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Cut it out in the comment section. Remember, guys, to like, share, and comment, and follow us Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Twitter handle at P Mila ENT. Audio thought to the Prince on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Bless up.